In this circuit of the past video, Herman shows you a lap on the old 1939 street circuit of Zandvoort. But before we start out our lap, we'll first show you the Van Lennep Road now and in 1939. Here was where the start finish of the old Zandvoort street circuit used to be. The historic photos used in this video are from the collection of Rob Peterson, the former speaker of the permanent circuit of Zandvoort. He's been supplying Herman with photos since he started the Circuits of the Past website back in 2003. We're now on board at the start finish. Whilst you enjoy the footage, I'll tell you a little bit more about the history of the 1939 street circuit of Zandvoort. The Dutch seaside resort of Zandvoort is well known for its beaches and permanent racetrack. Less people know about the fact that there used to be a street circuit here beforehand though. This was an initiative from the mayor Van Alphen, who wanted to organise races in Zandvoort. A street circuit was set up on a building site, of all places, where a new neighbourhood for Zandvoort was being built as well. So on the 3rd of June 1939, Zandvoort saw its first ever car race. We're now on the Nicholas Beats Avenue. Actually, the old street circuit was a little more to the right, on the asphalt road, which has been gone now for a long time. After the first races on the street circuit in Zandvoort, Mayor Van Alphen wanted a permanent racetrack for its town. However, the outbreak of World War II would come between him and his plans. During the war, the Netherlands was occupied by Germany. According to the stories, Mayor Van Alphen tried to persuade the Germans to build a parade circuit on the spot where the start finish straight of the current circuit is now, not knowing that the mayor had very different plans for this parade street. We're now at the end of the Nicholas Beats Avenue. Here Herman shows you where the old asphalt road used to be. And here you see Hanstuck Senior, who gave a demonstration in his auto union. And here's the same corner as it is today. We now head to the most peculiar part of the old Zandvoort street circuit, an intersection where miraculously cars came from both directions to turn left. This is where we just came from, and here's where we go to, and here's where we will arrive later this lap to turn left to the start finish straight. On this photo from the grandstand, you can see how it was in 1939. The barrier between the two parts consisted only of straw bales. Ha! <laughs> Old FIA safety. <laughs> so here we turn left onto the intersection, going into the Van Lennep Road again. But now we're going in the opposite direction. This was also the longest straight of the Zandvoort street circuit, and it brings us back to the current track. Before the current permanent circuit opened in 1948, the Zandvoort street circuit was used two more times for motorcycle races. They were held in 1946 and 1947. Here we turn right towards the permanent track. The track actually used to turn right a little bit further down from here, into the Dr John Metzger Street. However, this part of the Dr John Metzger Street has since been demolished and has been built back up again. So we have to take this new road, knowing that the street circuit was a little bit further to our left hand side. All we need next time is a bulldozer and we'll get our original layout back. So now we're approaching the entrance to the current Zandvoort circuit and the famous Rob Slottermaker anti-slip school. But before that, we turn right into the Vondel Avenue. This was probably the most beautiful section of the street circuit, as it meandered along a pond. Today, sadly, this is now just a dead end, leading into a parking area for the current Zandvoort circuit. 
where the meandering section used to be is now a holiday resort. Oh, commercialism. Here you see where the old road used to be. And from here, Herman follows the old street circuit, which is now a path in the bungalow park. Could always reenact this with Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, I guess. Fortunately, the owners from the resort were willing to let Herman film here, but he had to drive very slowly here because of the pedestrians. For their privacy, all the guests are blurred. By the way, the guy Herman, who I refer to several times in this video, is Herman Lishemeyer. He's the founder of the Circuits of the Past website and YouTube channel. I'm Simon Smith, I just do the voiceovers, but I do have a YouTube channel called Higher Plane Games if you're interested. Here the path in the park makes a little detour. The street circuit was on our left hand side here, and here you can see a photo from a Mercedes in 1939 that was taken right at this spot. After that little detour, we're back on the old street circuit once more. And here we leave the holiday resort, heading towards the last corner. Remember that intersection where we were before? Well, deja vu, we're here again, but now from the opposite direction. So that brings us back onto the start finish straight once more. If you want to know more about the Zandvoort Street Circuit, please visit the website www.circuitsofthepast.com. From there you can also download a free ebook about seven abandoned racetracks that you can visit legally. For now though, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell so that you don't miss another video from another bygone circuit from the past.